Hey guys, uh, it's National Admin Day. So if you are an admin, happy admin day. Today is all about you, sort of. Um, if you have an admin, please thank your admin. You have no idea what that person does for you. I was an admin for many, many years, and you can read all about it, of course, in working with people I want to punch in the throat. Um, I have tons of good stories in here about all of my admin days when I carried um, buckets of shit places and picked up people's dirty underwear and, you know, did it all. So, and once a year, one day a year, I would get thanked and I never really got the gift that I should have gotten. I should have gotten a day off. That's really what you should give your admin. If you are a boss and you have an admin, and especially one who does a good job, you should give that person a day off. That's really what we want. I used to get all kinds of random gifts. I used to get flowers. I had one boss that used to buy me $300 flower arrangements. They were gorgeous. They were lovely, but $300. And I knew how much it cost because he would give me the receipt to expense because he didn't buy that shit himself. He wasn't paying himself. No, no, no. The company was paying. So I would write that expense off for him. And then I always had to hire a car to bring me home because he'd give it to me and then like the weekend would come and I couldn't bear to leave $300 flowers just to sit there and die a slow, painful death. So I would take them home with me and it just, it was miserable. Just give me cash next time. Do you know how much, how many pairs of shoes I could buy with $300? Oh my gosh. So I did that. I used to get taken to lunch a lot. Nobody wants to go to lunch with the boss. The boss doesn't want to go to lunch with you either. Like, neither one of us want to be there. I had a boss one time he took me to lunch and was like dead silence. Like, we had nothing to say to each other. And finally he was like, so, do you like golf? And I was like, no. And I wasn't going to lie. I'm not that person. Like, I'm not that guy who's going to be like, oh my God, golf? I love golf. Like, nothing... I, Every weekend, I'm golf, golf, golf. I'm such a golfer. I love to golf. It's golf-tastic. Like, no, that was not me. I was just like, no, I don't like to golf. So I was like, do you like to read? And he was like, mm, I'm like, yeah, so should we get dessert to go? And that was it. Like, and again, we got to expense that lunch. I had one year where I worked for a company, and it wasn't an admin, though. I was a proofreader. I was beneath the admins, and... um but they weren't quite sure what to do with us because they wanted to like do something for us, but yet there wasn't like national proofreader day. And so they took us out to lunch with the admins to like Chili's or something. And I remember the admins were not happy because we were not admins and we should not have been there. And then there was this older woman who was a proofreader who now, when I think about it, like back then, you know, I was in my early twenties and I thought she was 80. I really did. Like she seemed so old to me. She was probably 45. She's probably as old as I am now. But at the time she seemed ancient to me and she was so angry and she was so pissed off. And I remember her like telling us all like, enjoy your mozzarella sticks because this is all you're gonna get like like she was so like bitter and unhappy because she was still like stuck in that job and she was like you know once a year they give us mozzarella sticks and then we're supposed to lick their boots for the rest of the year and I remember thinking like god like I hope I am never so angry like what is wrong with her like what has life done to her and now you know again I have an entire book called people I want to punch in the throat so I get it. I'm so with you, lady. I get it. I don't remember your name. I don't know where you are these days, but if, I hope you're still railing against the fucking mozzarella sticks because you're right. We were better than that. We deserve more than mozzarella sticks. So be sure to thank your admin today and tell them what a great job they do for you and how they are vital to the organization because they really are. Because let me ask you a question. Do you know your password? Do you? Because I used to have a boss. He didn't know his password. He didn't even send out emails. He wrote emails by hand on post notes and gave them to me. And then I typed them up and mailed them out. Because he didn't even know his email address. Do you know how to check your voicemail? Do you know how to connect to your to your family? Like, you know, when I tell you your, your wife is on line one, do you know her phone number? I don't think you do. I bet you don't. Do you know how anything gets done around here? It's always the admins getting everything done. You're welcome. We're happy to do it. We're glad we have jobs. You know, I was always glad I had a job. And most days it did not suck balls, but some days it really did. And it seemed like, especially on National Admin Day, because it's sort of like getting an award, like, but it's like not what you wanted it for, you know? And, and again, like the, just the way we were recognized, it was not, 
It just was not great. What we really want was the day off. Give us the day off. That's what we want. We want a day off, and then really, you'll really see what we do. If Can you imagine if you gave every admin the day off in your building? That would be fucking amazing because then you guys would all see exactly what they do so there you go happy admins day i love you guys if you're toiling in a cubicle i i i'm sorry i remember those days i can't go back i'll have to i don't know sell something you know my kids or something before i can go back to an office job but but um hang in there and I'm thinking of you and I know how I know how hard you guys work and I know what you do. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon. Bye.